Good evening, folks. Nick DeForest here. Um, got a little time. Uh, it's getting filmed on a Thursday night. Um, got a little time to get out here in the shop and uh, work on a couple projects. Um, uh, actually, uh, waiting on something to cure right now, and I'll show y'all that later. Um, I think y'all y'all like that. It'll uh, help get some things in motion. Um, on channel, just get a few projects out of the way and then we'll, uh, it, it, it'll let us, uh, progress a little bit, about all I'm gonna say. Um, but topic of today's video is, I've been hiding this from y'all actually, I picked this up, it's one of those, uh, this is, a uh, off of eBay. Started off at 99 cents. I don't know. I've been playing or thinking about picking up one of these cheap so that way I didn't have uh, one of my uh, older saws. I uh, have to ride around in the back of the truck every day and some I can rarely get parts for. Um, if it gets stolen out of the back of the truck, I ain't really, my feelings won't be super hurt um, because of. How, what I picked this up for and what it is, honestly. But so, uh, to quit, I guess, teasing y'all, this is what we're working on. This is, it is a horse forma. I said some, I don't know, I've been watching some of these, uh, looking them on eBay from time to time. This one started off at 99 cents. That's what they started the bidding off at crazy right it's uh rode around the back of the truck a little while a little while um did come with the half wrap on it i had a full wrap i was going to convert for a uh it's far 61 slash 266 for a full wrap but i hadn't done it yet so this all got to go ahead and get a full wrap on it um why are we going to be working on this well Right off the bat, decomp was leaking. I mean, leaking like a sieve. So I went ahead and plugged it off. It ain't fully broke in yet. I think I've got three tanks in it so far and it's still picking up compression as it goes. Um, the, in my research over the years, I know that some of these saws come with the O-ring on the clutch side. Some of them don't. Um, this one, does act a little funky, um, the carburetor primarily. Um, I believe it's carburetor, but I'm gonna pull it down and I've got a uh, O-ring if this one is missing it and that's called a man shoot, but I've also got a new carb. Um, one that I believe is a little bit better quality than the one that came on this one. So that'll be the top of today's video and uh, let's get on in it. Yeah, it's been, honestly, I wanted to show y'all as soon as I got this, but I wanted to get broken in first. And uh, I'm not huge on unboxing videos. I mean, I've cut a little bit with it, not much. And I said, just a couple tanks fulls. Uh, so far, I mean, other than it acting a little funky, it's been a fairly good saw so far. That's... Only time will tell. I mean, I didn't pay much for it, so bearings go out in it. I ain't gonna get my feelings hurt too bad. Sorry, I had to spit. Um, I'll pull it apart and throw good bearings in it, probably a good crank, but for the price I pay for this, for it being new, granted, not the best quality new, but new nonetheless. And these parts are readily available compared to obviously my older saws. Y'all, y'all see that later on tonight or in another video. I'll uh, kind of show struggles I'm having for one. Um, as far as parts availability, so that's the main reason I picked this up is parts availability and. Uh, I'd rather one of my nicer saws or my newer saws not get stolen, or not nicer or, no or newer, but 
I would rather have this stolen out of the back of my truck than one of my home lights, my Max, or my Pioneers, honestly. Um, but let's quit jabbing, let's get on into it. So, you know these Huskies, obviously, I'll get this equip off without shooting it across the shop. Um, and I've never taken one of these apart, to be honest with you, so this is going to be an adventure for me. Okay. Come off. Clutch off. Or clutch drum off. That's pretty good shape so far. Needle pairing. Of these may spin off some way. Curious, I ain't never done one of these. I'm not quite sure how to come off. I ain't never dealt with a clutch like this. I um, may pause y'all for a second and see how about getting this off. Um, that's it. I just ain't never done one before. I ain't never done a clutch this style without a nut. So this is my newest model saw by far. Um, the next newest I got would be uh, Husqvarna uh, 61 from the 90s. Um, so this is much newer, much, much newer than what I'm typically used to. So let me pause y'all real quick. I'm going to figure out how to get this uh, clutch off and I'll be right back with you. All right, folks. All right, folks, interesting saw indeed. Um, put, it was missing the O-ring, put the O-ring in. Um, put that uh, little spacer, goes down the crank, got it seated. About to put the old pump drive on, back on. Sure she's all good, I believe so. Go ahead and put a clutch on. That's a good start. That will start for now. that on, I'll put a drum on, come on, Seated. Guess it ain't always seated against that. Just that little old pump drive sliding in between that slot. The slot's a little sloppy. Put a worm or uh, rim gear back on. Put your retainer on. And finally put your E-clip on. Don't let this sucker go fly across the shop. There we go. Let me make sure 
this thing still old and make sure there's old in it. Oh, she about slap out. By the way, she ain't throwing no. I got, oh, I got some right over here. Just want to make sure it's still old. Then. So I'm going to pull it out of one of them saws. I didn't want to waste it. It should be enough to tell us if we're oil. this over up. We ain't got no oil. Give it a couple more. Let me figure out this hole real quick and I'll be right back with y'all. Sorry about all the breaks in this video, y'all. <laughs> 